Welcome to this tutorial on conic sections hyperbola. In this tutorial, we will study standard equations and parts of hyperbolae, learn how to use GeoGebra to construct a hyperbola. Here, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 14.04, GeoGebra 5.0.388.0, hyphen D. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with GeoGebra interface, conic sections in geometry. For relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Hyperbola. Consider two fixed points F1 and F2 called foci. A hyperbola is the locus of points whose difference of distances from these foci is constant. In the image, observe that foci of a hyperbola lie along the transverse axis. They are equidistant from the center which lies on the conjugate axis. 2b is the length of the conjugate axis. c is the distance of each focus from the center. The conjugate axis is perpendicular to the transverse axis. The hyperbola intersects the transverse axis at the vertices A and B. A is the distance of each vertex from the center. The lattice recti pass through the foci. They are perpendicular to the transverse axis. Be careful to distinguish lengths from letters used for sliders, circles and hyperbolae. Let us construct a hyperbola in GeoGebra. I have already opened the GeoGebra interface. Click on Point Tool and click twice in Graphics View. This creates two points A and B which will be the foci of our hyperbola. Right click on A and choose the rename option. In the new name field, type F1 and click OK. This will be one of our foci F1. Let us rename point B as F2. Click on Slider tool and click in Graphics view. A slider dialog box appears in graphics view. Stay with the default number selection. In the name field, type K. Set min value as 0. Max value as 10. Increment as 0 0.1. Click OK. This creates a number slider named K. Using this slider, k can be changed from 0 to 10. k will be the difference of the distances of any point on the hyperbola from the foci F1 and F2. Drag slider k to 4. We will create another number slider named a. Its min value is 0, max value is 25, increment is 0 0.1. Click on circle with center and radius tool and click on F1. A text box appears. Type A and click OK. Drag A to a value between 2 and 3. A circle C with center F1 and radius A appears. Drag slider A to 5. Under Move Graphics view, click on Zoom Out tool. Click in Graphics view. Click on Move Graphics view to move the background as required. Click again on Circle with Center and Radius tool. And click on F2. In the text box, type A minus K, 
and click OK. Circle D with center F2 and radius A minus K appears. Click again on circle with center and radius tool and click on F2. In the text box, type A plus K and click OK. Circle E with center F2 and radius A plus K appears. Set slider K between 1 and 2, slider A between 3 and 4. Under point, click on intersect. Then click on circles C and D and circles C and E. This creates points A, B, C and D. Under line, click on segment and click on points A and F1 to join them. Then click on points A and F2 to join them. Similarly, using segment tool, join B and F1 as well as B and F2. Click on move. Double click on segment A, F1 and click on object properties. In the left panel, segment A, F1 is already highlighted. Holding control key down, click and highlight segments A, F2, B, F1 and B, F2. Under the basic tab, make sure show label is checked. Choose name and value from the drop down menu next to it. Under the color tab, select red. Under the style tab, select dashed line style. Close the preferences box. Click on move if it is not highlighted. Move the labels to see them properly in graphics view. Now let us carry out the same steps for segments CF1, CF2, DF1 and DF2, but make them blue. Click on move if it is not highlighted. And move the labels to see them properly in graphics view. Right click on points A, B, C and D and select trace on option. Set slider K at 1. Drag slider A to both ends of the slider. Set first K at 2. Then at 3. At 5. And finally at 10. Observe the traces of hyperbole for the different values of A and K. Let us look at the equations of hyperbole. Open a new GeoGebra window. In the input bar, type the following line describing the difference of two fractions equal to 1. To type the caret symbol, hold the shift key down and press 6. For the first fraction, type the numerator as x minus h in parenthesis caret 2, then type division slash now type the denominator of the first fraction as a caret 2 followed by minus. For the second fraction, type the numerator as y minus k in parenthesis caret 2, then type division slash. Now type the denominator of the second fraction as b caret 2 followed by equal sign 1. Press enter. A pop-up window asks if you want to create sliders for A, B, H and K. Click on Create Sliders. This creates number sliders for H, A, K and B. By default, they go from minus 5 to 5 and are set at 1. You can double click on the sliders to see their properties. A hyperbola appears in graphics view.
Under Move Graphics View, click on Zoom Out and then in Graphics View. Click on Move Graphics View and drag Graphics View to see the hyperbola properly. In Algebra View, note the equation for hyperbola C. Drag the boundary to see it properly. Keep track of the equations appearing in Algebra View as you drag the sliders from end to end. You will see the effects on the shape of hyperbola C. Place the cursor over the equation in Algebra View. Note that A is associated with the x minus h squared component of the equation. It controls the horizontal movement of hyperbola C. Associated with the y minus k squared component is B. It controls the vertical movement of hyperbola C. Note that the transverse axis of hyperbola C is horizontal like the x-axis. Drag slider A to 2 leaving B at 1. When A is greater than B, the arms of the hyperbola are closer to the x-axis. Note the equation of the hyperbola. Drag the boundary to see it properly. With slider A at 2, drag slider B to 3. When A is less than B, the arms of the hyperbola stretch closer to the y-axis. Note the equation of hyperbola C. Drag the boundary to see it properly. With slider A at 2, drag slider B back to 1. Click in and drag graphics view to see the hyperbola properly. In the input bar, type focus C in parenthesis and press enter. Two foci A and B are mapped in graphics view. Their coordinates appear in algebra view. In the input bar, type center C in parenthesis and press enter. Center point C appears in graphics view. Its coordinates appear in algebra view. Note that the center has the coordinates H, K. Drag sliders H and K from end to end. Note the effects on hyperbola C. In the input bar, type vertex C in parenthesis and press enter. Vertices D and E appear on hyperbola C. Let us drag A so we can see the vertices clearly. Drag the boundary to see graphics view properly. Click in graphics view and drag the background so you can see the hyperbola properly. Drag slider A back to 2. Under slider, click on text and click in graphics view. A text box opens up. In the edit field, type the following text. Press enter after each line to go to the next line and click OK. Refer to additional material provided with this tutorial for these calculations. Click on Move Graphics View and drag the background so you can see the hyperbola. Uncheck Equation C and all points and text generated for hyperbola C in Algebra View. Follow the earlier steps to construct hyperbola D for these two conditions. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to use GeoGebra to construct a hyperbola, look at standard equations and parts of hyperbolae. As an assignment, find all these values. Find all these values for these hyperbolae. The video at the following link 
summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Vidya Ayer from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.